All right, now that we've safely parked our car, we want to get ready to go sample the stream. So we need to grab our boots, our waders, sandals, whatever you want to sample in. I'm going to take my field data sheet, start filling that out. Then I want to take a picture of my data sheet. And finally, we need to grab whatever supplies we need to, to sample the stream. Those include our two large bottles, our small beaker, a thermometer, and our test strips. Once we have all that stuff, we're all ready to head down to the stream. Let's go. All right, we made it. We are ready to actually sample this stream. Now, when you get to site, one person is going to be responsible for filling out this habitat evaluation form, and you will be provided with walkthroughs on how to fill this out. And then our other person is going to go ahead and take the physical water samples. Now it's important to remember not every site you can access by just walking down. And in those cases, it's perfectly okay to take a rope and a bucket and sample over the side of a bridge. All right, now I'm ready to take my water samples. I have my two big bottles. It's the only thing you need to take out with you as you're wading into the stream. Now, we can see downstream, the water's flowing this way. You always want to enter a river or a stream going up the flow. All right, this is important because as we walk, we pick up sediment and we don't want to sample that sediment. So we want the sediment to wash behind us. So I'm just going to gently walk up this stream a little bit. All right, this looks pretty good. I'm going to take my first bottle and we're going to do a rinse of all of these bottles. So I'm going to fill it up once. And this is just my rinse. Now when we're dumping, we don't want to dump up high because again, that'll stir up the sediment. So I'm just going to dump this low right behind me. So that way it all flows that way. All right, our second fill up is going to be for actual sampling. So I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on that. Now I have my second bottle. We're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to fill it up once and then dump it behind me. Fill it up a second time put my lid on. All right, that's all you have to do physically in the stream. So you can go ahead, walk on out. Now I have the other supplies I've brought down here. I have my beaker, thermometer, and test strips. So I'm going to take some of the water that I just collected, pour it into the beaker here. Cap back on. We don't want to lose any sample. We do use this later in the lab. All right, now I'm going to take my thermometer. Just stick it in the beaker. Now temperature of water doesn't change too much. So just watch it. It works just like any other thermometer. And once the temperature stabilizes, you can go ahead and record that. All right. And then the last thing we need to do down here at the stream is do our test strips. So you'll be provided with all the different test strips you're going to use and directions on how to use them. Some need a little bit of waiting time. This specific one is a pH strip. So we just take our, our sample water, stick our paper in, and I give it just a moment to change colors, right? And then we have our little thing to compare here and whatever color is the closest, I'm going to say it's an eight. That's what I'm going to record. Then you're all set. That's all you have to do at the stream.